All right, we need to talk about nods. And the only reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because I just want to get you guys some honest feedback on uh, some different nods that we've been running. So we got two RNVGs and two DTNVGs, all right? Uh, the ones on my helmet here, I've been running for quite some time. I've actually been running them for several months now. Uh, these are the RNVG 14s. And there's two different housings out there for the RNVGs. You got the RNVGs without the auxiliary port, uh, which is on this helmet right now. And you have the other model that's on the ground, and I'll get to that next, uh, is the RNVGs with the auxiliary port. You have an auxiliary port over here for an external uh, battery pack, and you can just plug it in, and you don't have to worry about that single CR123 dying on you. It hasn't happened to me yet, but I change these batteries out every two weeks, so I just don't see that happening. Uh, I really don't push these batteries to the max, but anywho, I am really liking the RNVGs. Uh, I really like this set that I have right now, and I've been doing really, really well with it. I will be honest with you guys, with the RMVG 14s, these are the green, um, they don't perform as well uh, with extremely low light, and that's what we had last night out here. Uh, we had no moon until about 1 o'clock in the morning, and when that moon came up, it was a different world for me, but uh, when it's really, really low light, uh, I can I can only see about 50 to 60 yards uh, safely, safely, okay? Uh, I don't run any type of IRs or anything like that, so I kind of run off of natural light. And without that natural light, I was kind of limited with range last night. But uh, it's still good to navigate with, you know, and I can still see where there's a pothole coming up or a tree, all right? So RNVG 14s. So next up here are the RNVG Anvis, all right? So these have an Anvis glass or Anvis lenses and it has the auxiliary port right here on the side. Um, I think you gained just a few ounces of weight with this uh, auxiliary port. It, it, it's really not a deal breaker, to be honest with you. Um, and I really don't see the point of running that unless you're out for days at a time. <laughs> I just, I really don't see the point. The RMVGs without the auxiliary port are probably the most popular ones. Um, these just, I don't, I don't see myself utilizing that auxiliary port. But some people feel like they need it. Go for it. Go for it. Uh, but the Anvis, let's talk about the difference between the Anvis and just your standard 14s. Guys, from what I've seen uh, over time in hunting, uh, the Anvis lenses tend to be a little bit sharper at distance. So uh, right around 150, 200 yards, I can really focus in really tight and I can get a really crisp look of, let's just say tree branches or uh, a, a, a power line. I can get it really sharp with the Anvis lens. Uh, it's not so much with the standard 14s. I can still see everything and everything is pretty decent, but I noticed they're a little bit sharper with the Anvis lens. There's a difference. Let me flip these down and show you guys. But you can see there's a noticeable difference in the way they look. Uh, but you won't be able to see how sharp it is. RMVG 14 or RNG 14's RMVG Anvis. And here we have the standard DT and VGs with the green photonis echo tubes. I've run these for quite some time and I did like them. I actually loved them. Uh, one of the biggest benefits of running DT and VGs are the articulation. So you can have one side down and you can flip up one side of the DT and VGs and this side will cut off. Uh, if you flip up both sides at the same time, they will both cut off. If you flip your nods up, they will cut off. Uh, those are just some sweet features, but uh, that's the reason why they cost a little bit more, uh, just because of all those moving, uh, uh, you got a lot of moving parts and then you got some extra uh, internal stuff that's really good. Uh, you know, they're lightweight. I don't see that much of a difference between the 14s just by holding it. 
uh, but I'm sure if you put it on the scale, you'll see that there's a difference between the DT and VGs and the R and VGs. Guys, uh, we run our stuff pretty hard, and sometimes we do damage equipment. Uh, I have yet to damage any nods, but if I knew I was going to be really rough on my gear, uh, I would set the DT and VGs down and go with the R and VGs. I, I personally think the R and VGs are a little bit tougher. Uh, I'm getting in and out of my side-by-side, -side, I'm getting in and out of vehicles, and I'm constantly hitting my nods on the rooftop, and I have yet to see any type of wear or damage on the RNVG 14s that I'm running currently right now. Uh, I get a little nervous sometimes with the DT and VGs and the 31s, uh, just because uh, I don't feel they're as uh, robust as the RNVGs. That's my personal opinion, uh, but these are super sweet. These are really, really nice to run, uh, super easy to operate. You just have a little knob right here. You just flip left and right. You pull out and go all the way to the left, and then you got your little IR light that cuts on. But, ooh, DT and VGs, man. These are these are sweet. Uh, you told me which ones to choose between 31s, DT and VGs, and R and VGs, and, you know, money was no option. I will probably go with the DT and VGs. I will probably go with the DT and VGs. But right now, I'm on the R and VGs, and I'm liking them. They're sweet. In my hands are probably the first FDE DT NVGs out there. I've never seen another one painted like this, and uh, I'm pretty positive these are the first. These are Tyler's personal set. Uh, Ultimate Night Vision will not be offering them like this, but it could be an option. Could be. Um, these are sick. These are Anvis. DT and VGs with filmless white tubes. And uh, <laughs> I just like them because they're FDE. They're painted and they're super, super sweet. But the Anvis is a plus. Uh, they articulate, like I said. Uh, these are super, super sweet. Um, I think it could be an option if you was to pick up the phone and say, hey, hey, Ultimate Night Vision, I want these things in OD Green or FDE or uh, Battleship Gray. Uh, I'm sure it could be done, but you will have to pay for that option. Uh, but guys, DT and VGs, filmless white tubes, Anvis lens. <laughs> it, it doesn't get any sexier than these. These are sweet, and there really isn't much to say about them. I mean, they're just, these are the creme de la cremes right now. These are the creme de la cremes, you know, for civilian use, for Anybody to be able to get their hands on them, this is the way to go. I know a lot of people want to keep spitting out 31s, 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 but not everybody can get their hands on 31s. But you can definitely get your hands on some DT and VGs. Filmless white tubes with the Amphis lenses. These are very, very cool. Uh, these are pretty much one of one right now. Uh, and it could be an option here in the future for you guys if you want to have some that are in FDE. That is it with the nods. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys some personal feedback on them. Uh, I like them. I run them religiously. I don't hunt with them. Uh, but what I do use them for is to navigate. So I would detect with thermal. I would do my stalk. I would do my driving with nods. Then I'll flip them up and I'll use the thermal uh, mounted weapon system that I have. And I'll kill my pigs and coyotes with that. But you will always see me lurking around at nighttime with nods. Now. Over here, this is something that we'll talk about here in the future. And these are Tyler's dual skeet setup on his helmet. These are thermal. These are thermal. And um, I have, me personally, I have a hard time adjusting to the whole thermal thing. At the same time with both eyes, I just can't get used to it. Tyler and Rich, they have it figured out. They're driving around, they're spotting animals just like that. They're, they're constantly seeing stuff way before everybody else. So uh, not a cheap setup, but a sick setup. <laughs> so we will talk about that some other time if you guys would like. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Get the subs going, get the notifications going. And I'm sure Ultimate Night Vision has all kinds of hunting content for you guys to see. So.